So I'm Dr. Dickon Bevington. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist and I'm medical director at the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families. So what can we do as adults uh, using that knowledge of brain development to, to make the best of what we have and be helpful uh, with young people, perhaps whose behaviour is, is challenging at times. Well, what we know about this prefrontal cortex, the front part of the brain, is that it actually learns how to become active um, not by just growing into the right shape, but by being in relation to other brains and other minds. And we learn to use this mind by having an experience of other people using their part of the brain on us in an effective way. In other words, being in front of somebody who actually does appear to make sense of me in a way that I feel understood, compassionately if you like, that this person is making sense of me in a way that makes sense to me. So um, at, a, at a very basic level, uh, I'm not saying anything particularly uh, uh, surprising to, to teachers, I know, but that um, if you want to calm somebody down, the most powerful way to activate their prefrontal cortex is to use yours, in spite of whatever is being thrown at you, to try to give the young person an experience that, however their behaviour may be coming out, the way that they've got themselves into this state of mind may be understandable. And even if I don't fully understand it, the very fact that I'm interested and curious and in an authentic way that I'm trying to understand will activate their prefrontal cortex, where previously it was a little bit gone to sleep and they were, they were dealing with stuff deep inside that was about just doing stuff to get them away from danger. So finally, what clues or signs might a teacher look for that would help them make a decision about whether this is a young person for whom more specialist referral makes sense. And I think rather than me list uh, a, a, a kind of checklist of, of symptoms to look out for, I would counsel um, my colleagues to kind of go back to the basics. Look at day-to-day -day function. Are they managing school studies in a way that is, is kind of consistent and has been carrying on, or are they getting, appearing to get worse over time? Are they managing social relationships in a way that is deteriorating and becoming more withdrawn? Are they appearing more distressed than they were? So looking at the, the change of behaviour over time and its impact on sort of, if you like, whole person functioning. I think that that's a, a, a better uh, uh, weather vein than, than trying to look for sort of three or four or seven or nine specific symptoms uh, where we get into more confusion. So I think trust one's gut instinct and look at trends over time in a young person's behaviour.